Look at me, I'm spooky! <laughs> You look like the an anime adaptation of the kid from Where the Wild Things Are, but also a Frankenstein monster? I know, I got Frankenstein things on my head. Happy October, Jason. Thank you, Ben. You uh, brought me uh, here to show me the scariest game of them all. This is, this is Code Vein. This is a ah. uh, Bandai Namco joint. This is, this is Dark Souls. Ah! Cross, uh, anime. Ah! I know! It's spooky. Um, it took me... 10 or 11 seconds to scroll through all of the eyebrow options during oh. my character creation. Uh, it's, it's Are you able to edit on the, on the fly? Can you no, I can't, oh, unfortunately. Damn. Actually, you know what? I think I can. Let's go check it out. This is my home base, by the way. I'm a vampire. Sure. But a good vampire. Like a science, yeah. like a science vampire. Yeah, because I'm researching some stuff. You're not out there scaring townspeople, sucking their blood. Okay, You're, you ready for eyebrows? I'm ready for eyebrows. Oh my god, you weren't kidding. It looks. <laughs> I'm really watching. Three, four. I'm really enjoying five, just watching your six, character seven, while this happens. Eight, nine, <laughs> ten, eleven. It's like doing Jim Carrey yeah, brows. <laughs> Yeah, there's a lot of customers. Show me the scars slash other before we get out of here. Okay, uh, where's that? Scroll up at? a few. There we go. That's okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. This seems like, yeah. I probably should have had some of these scars. Most like games, this. you know, you've got like three yeah. scars. It's like across the eye, a big X, and right. then like maybe a cheek. Right. You can have two here. Oh, you can also fuck with axes. Check out accessories. How many accessories I can have. That's pretty cool. Wait, what? Yeah. So if I wanted to add, you know, one of these like a Mario hats, hat. If if I wanted headphones. If I so desired. Three different pairs of headphones. At least. No ear pods though. Like, <laughs> why like, even bother? them on? No, because that covers up my Frankenstein <laughs> stuff. How about a little crown? How about a little crown? Oh, a little prince. Uh -huh. Now you really are where the wild things are. <sighs> get me out of here. Oh, uh, but Jason, if we get out of this menu, then you have to play the game. I know. Um, <laughs> That's something I'm not really looking forward to. I, I've got more than a handful of hours into it. I'm, have, I'm struggling with it a little bit. On paper, this seems like my kind of game for sure. And customization, get me out of here. Sure, because you're a fan of games like, you know, God Eater. Yeah, this is done by like the God Eater team. Uh, you know, and I like Dark Souls an awful lot. Um, so when I start off uh, in the game, there's amnesia involved. And, uh, <laughs> I'm sure. with this this lady right here. She's taking care of me. Oh, I bet. And then I meet up with these guys, and they're they're science vampires as well. We're researching this, uh, you know, where these blood springs are coming from. Um, and then you get to listen to this type of music. I don't I don't know. Maybe you can tell me what kind of music this is. Once okay, it, right once now it, once it's it kicks in. We got a little grime going. There we go. Oh yeah, this is like. Somebody who was inspired by Rob Zombie, but has none of the skill of him. Right. Is where I'm leaning towards. There we go. Yeah! Yeah! Yeah, the, I, I, I get the Rob Zombie in there too, okay. All right. It's, get, it's getting a little more somewhere. buddy as it goes. All right, so you, you don't have a... Uh, so you have levels, right? Yeah. But you're leveling up yourself and not your skills so much. What you can do is choose like a class, and that's this blood code right here. You've got a bunch of different options, and you get these from you know the, from your your friends. Uh, you find them out in the out in the field, but this is essentially your loadout. This is this determines the you know the stats that you get, and also the abilities that that you have at your disposal. So I see, you yep. can go for like a range type. You can go for uh, this this Atlas guy, uh, which I like. Heavy awful. armor. Yeah, exactly. Berserker. Okay. This one's a spellcaster, but you get them by talking with people. Like I think, no. I think she'll give me one too. You. If you want, you can use my blood code too. Oh, okay. I can. Don't get the wrong idea. Oh no. Oh, sorry. My best customers, and I want I've never bought a single thing from her yet. <laughs> Consider this an investment. <laughs> Is there a cool? Oh. No, mm -hmm. no, it's just the sound effect. What happened? I got, I got her blood code. Balance that. Gifts safe. related to stamina and haze. Okay, haze is essentially the, uh, the currency of the okay. world. Okay. The souls, as it were. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> you put the camera by the jukebox. 
All right, so what okay. I'm seeing here looks like a hub world. Does that mean there's... Yeah, there's When you say Dark Souls, I kind of think, like, big interconnected world. Does this have that? It does, actually, yeah. Okay. And you can uh, traverse uh, that world by going to this missile here. Think mistletoe, not, not like... Uh, not like pew, missiles you yeah. yeah, not those <laughs> missiles. Um, so, yeah, here you, we can uh, buy new powers as well. I, there was one that I wanted to check out. Some rock in the Atlas class right now, but I got a new one here at this... Uh, Tormenting Blast, and that's uh, good for uh, two-handed weapons, so I'm going to get that. How many different types of weapons do you think you're working with here? Like, Well, this is actually a good indication. If you look down at the bottom here, oh, you see sure. regular swords, two-handed swords, it's halberds, hammers, uh, bayonets, uh, which is like a kind of like a light-slash-ranged weapon, mm -hmm. which is kind of cool. And you can carry two weapons at a time, so you can sw switch uh, back and forth between those. Okay, so now we need to, let's see, now we need to equip that. We've got one power on there already. Triple Annihilator. Right. And then this is our new guy here. There we go. So these skills over here are just like, you know, hold on, right trigger, and then you, one of the face buttons becomes your powers. Sure. Uh, these are the two weapons you can equip. This is uh, like your armor. Mm -hmm. um, these are just like passive buffs. Down here are your items. This is your Estus Flask equivalent. But let's get out into the world. We're gonna teleport. Um, so I'm kind of stuck. Okay. <laughs> at, a, at a boss. Mm. Uh, we're gonna see how well we fare by fighting this boss. I've, okay. I found all the missiles in, in this area. Like I've completely cleared it out. I feel like I'm like I should be at the right level for this, but I am getting my ass kicked. Well, don't worry. Everyone plays video games better when they're being recorded. Yeah, so exactly. I don't see what can go wrong. Who's that? This is my partner, Mia. Um, she's a, she's a spellcaster. So she'll uh, heal me. She'll do ranged attacks and such. Um, she'll handle the support. She'll handle the support, essentially. Okay, got it. I mean, this was a park, wasn't it? it was. So we got to fight our way through a few different dudes here. Oh, my armor actually has an attack too, so check this out. So I've got light, I've got heavy attacks, uh, but also I can do this uh, attack with my armor, which is kind of cool. That's cool. What it'll do is uh, it'll recharge, you know, the 10 out of 10 in the lower right-hand corner there. Uh -huh. That's essentially my mana. And I use that when I, when I do, uh, you know, special skills. Right. But I can recharge it by doing that attack with my armor. Um, show me your roll. I got a good, very mm. generous roll. Yeah. Looks like kind of a higher startup, maybe, but a good length. We should do a ranking of rolls show. Oh, that's a really good idea. <sighs> Little mini episodes. <sighs> I think Dead Cells might, uh... Can we have that Limp Bizkit song? It. That keep rolling, rolling, rolling. Yeah, and okay. Dutch Crunch is also on the list. <laughs> good. Ooh, gets a little chunky there. <laughs> Um, performance is not a, not the best. I've performance doesn't seem one. great, and I'm just gonna say this UI uh, is bad. Yeah, this is not great. Did I get lost? No, I gotta go. Stamina bars that are just a big white bar. We need to... If, it, if something's gonna be on the screen for the whole game, mm -hmm. make it look a little nicer. You know, just yeah. like curl those corners, put a little trimming around it. Like yeah. you can. Well, they kind of do that with the HP bar. Like it's kind yeah, of yeah, that I mean, that has that blood. Like I get it. You're a vampire. That's yeah. all right. The font's a little wa weird, but okay. So this bayonet is pretty cool. You get light attacks, and you can do that. Nice. It's got kind of a short range on it though, but uh, uh, there she is. What is oh, that man. Thing? Some kind of cocoon. All right, it's been nice knowing you, dude. Yeah, you got this. Man, Just this sucks use your spells and don't get hit. She hits me for like two thirds of my fucking health every hit, and then my Essence Flask like heals maybe a quarter of my health. Do you have any consumable? I do, but I've used them all. Oh no. Butterfly of delirium. <laughs> okay, now she's got the fucking aura around her. That's bad. Yeah. Get out. There's a, there's a block as well. I really like your partner just spamming roll. Yep. She's she's okay sometimes. Ooh. I don't even know what hit you. Here we go. Yeah. We're doing very well. 
the hell out. Oh boy. No. Mm. She got you there. Yeah, I'm gonna heal up. Look at that. The, the, yeah, the wow, shit. that sucks. Dude, back up. At least in the game like God Sekiro, it. it heals uh, a ton. Yeah, I know. I just gotta get the fuck away so I can... No. And I've used all my healing. And you're still taking damage. Yep. I'm poisoned or something. I know I've got like anti- oh Jesus. Anti-venom things, but... I might try those next time, but still. Uh, that's not... Fuck. Can you just like... Does your partner- oh, yeah, your partner does have health. Okay, I was gonna say. Damn, her heal healed her for like, almost a little. Yeah. Like, I don't know if I'm missing something with those things. Like, can I level it up somehow? But... Oh, fuck, man. Huh, this seems... It's rough. Rough. Anyway. <laughs> you know, warp back to just like a different random part, and then maybe we'll try this again. Well, we can kind of work our way backwards. Yeah, sure. I don't think I'm going to try it again. I'm so pissed off at this. No, we'll do a big triumphant. We'll end the, the video with yeah, one yeah. more. Yeah, dying again. Thank you. <laughs> can you like go back to the hub world and buy like pots and stuff? Yeah, I don't have that much uh, haze though. So we'll, oh, okay. we'll kill a bunch of enemies. We'll, we'll get some. I believe in you, Jason. Oh, don't. <laughs> don't psych me up just to, just to have me fail like this. It's not gonna happen. Jason, it's like you've never seen an anime. If I can't power a friendship you, then, <laughs> then we're done. <laughs> I, like the, I like the enemy design. Yeah. It's appropriately spoopy. Yeah. They're all gross and nasty and... Yeah. There's enough gross animes out there to, to, to kind of shape them. a style, yeah. She does so much damage, it's great. Just be like, hey, you can go handle the boss. I'll cover, <laughs> I'll cover you. Okay, I gotta get some mana back. Any sort of stealth takedown? Yep, yeah, there's a backstab equivalent. And every once in a while it'll show like this, like anime-ish cutscene. Lasts about five seconds or something like that. It's, it's you do like a cool flip rad. around them. Not not necessarily that cool. Okay. Just kind of cool. Okay. Oh god. And then how about uh, you know since you invoked the name Dark Souls, how about uh, your kind of environmental traps and stuff like that? Are you working with any of those? Uh, so far it's just been enemies. Okay. Uh, for the most part, um, and they've been. There we go. Oh. Where are you reaching? That's a good question. I don't know. That didn't kill her? Man. Okay. Thanks, lady. But yeah, I've certainly fallen off this ledge a number of times fighting, <laughs> fighting her. So I actually came from the other way initially to get to, to where I'm at, so I'm kind of working my way backwards. But you can see um, this part was a hell of a challenge. There's three guys there that shoot range stuff, and then there's, you know, the big mama, and just that little bridge. Yeah. <laughs> that was really tough to get through. And if you die, you know, you've got to go through it again and again and again and again and again. You're um, good. So all the enemies, you know, respawn. So that's where the real code vein starts. Yep. That roll is pretty damn generous, though, which is nice. But you take a lot of damage. So I'm wearing like the equivalent of like heavy armor too. Oh Jesus. So how did you uh, get health back there after you dropped she, a zero? I think she actually, okay. she's got a spell that will revive me uh, for a little bit on death. God damn. I can't fucking see. <laughs> Sword too big. How are we doing on healing? We got three left? Okay. All the drops have been just really 
like their crafting materials and stuff, and then you know you'll get weapons. But I haven't found anything that has been pow more powerful than what I've currently got. It's either like I can't wield it because my stats aren't right, or it's just not very powerful. So it's been really underwhelming. Let's fight a few more dudes here. Oh boy. There's probably some shit around the corner here. Ah. That sounds like nothing. <laughs> How about uh, oh, like geez. secrets, you know, kind of off the beaten path stuff? No, not so much. Like it's been pretty uh, linear. Like I'd, I'd go so far as to say that like the level demo design has been pretty bad. Hmm. Um, you know, there's lots of choke points with, you know, and these, you know, types of enemies. Ooh. Yeah, that's... It's like a stop motion video. That's unfortunate. There's a missile up above us, right? And the, uh, the map doesn't lend itself. Uh, are the white well, dots, like, where you've stepped? Where, yeah, that's where I've stepped, but, like, I huh. can't really tell, like, which direction I was going yeah, when that's... I was doing it. Interesting. Um, and it also really does not lend itself to uh, like vertic vertical situations, right. like when I'm going up steps here. So there'll be you know a level up here, but it overlaps. Oops. You know what I want to see? Uh, I want to see you try and summon help for that boss later. Okay. Because this, you were saying on the podcast, has yeah, a sort of Dark Souls, Souls style. I don't exactly know how to do that, but because uh, I'm playing in offline mode right now. Oh, okay. Uh, so I don't think that I can do it. I'm sorry. But you were saying it's like uh, kind of similar. You yeah. can ask for help. Yeah, and you can leave like stakes down here. Um, and then this needle of unity, I think uh, when you do go into somebody else's game, you can use that to teleport to, to where they're at. So kind of streamline that. That's kind of cool. All right, so let's go back to my missile. Yeah. And then we'll try and buy some stuff. Yeah, I, I want to see what, what we're working with. You said they were you're getting crafting stuff. Yep. And I've been selling off the extra weapons as, I, as I've been getting them. But I've been sticking to this two-handed sword from God Eater. <laughs> it's pretty <laughs> rad. Um, and then also that bayonet for, for some ranged stuff. Yeah, you got. You definitely have a berserk vibe. Yeah, totally. I really like the um, the armor ability. Oh yeah, that is pretty cool. Yeah, I have to get, say this game, like apart from the performance issues, looks pretty. And and maybe the uninspired level design mm -hmm. looks pretty sleek. Like I like the enemy design, I like the weapon design, I like the animations. Yep. Yeah, there's a lot to, you know, and like I said, like at a glance, like this is something I totally should be into, but I have not been feeling it. Um, you know, it's interesting that, let's see, they they kind of went to the back to the drawing board with the combat. When I played this quite some time ago, like two, two years ago or something like that, um, it was a little more mashy, I guess, um, but that falls in line with, you know, like a, like a God Eater style game. Um, but they've gone back and like made it a definitely more stamina based and slow and, and kind of deliberate. Um, this lady sells me weapons, but I think I gotta talk to Coco. I've got a whole new line of stock in. Oh yeah. You've been sitting in the car. <laughs> You've never been away from this car. Hey, since have you ever been in a hands on a hard body competition? It's a lot harder than it looks. You're probably right. I shouldn't judge. Okay. If you want it. I got it. You better. Okay, there we go. Uh, Icker is uh, the mana stuff, so we want, let's see. It cures venom and block the effect if used before. Okay, all right. And I've got a couple of those, so I might want to work with that. So inhibit, anti slow, coagulant. Oh. Plasma cartridge. You got to dial in your INR. That's a. Chemical light, vivify. Blood coagulation humor for oh, the folks at home. Yeah. Does she not have? Okay, for real. What are you looking for exactly? Something that heals me. Is it or not? No. Okay. 
blood. Are you sure? Almost positive. So I thought you said you have three. Yeah, I think uh, that's because isn't blood your health? Oh wait, no. What's the one right there? The green yeah. one next to it. Regeneration, you. regen inducer. There we go. Yeah. Causes the body to regenerate. So that's what you need. Yes. Regen inducer. Uh, is there anyone else that sells? Them? Yeah, we'll go. We'll go talk to. What is exchange? Maya. Uh, that's for, well, you'll we'll see in here in a minute. You can receive items. You can trade her, you know, things that you've found. Like I found this, like, sports pennant uh, out of the field. And you could trade that for, um, you can get trading points, you know, for it. And then get some shit. You can get this new stamp. <laughs> or some mercury chrome. Okay. Okay. One more time, I'll take a I really don't see it. Yeah, I don't think she has what you're looking for here. No way. Okay. Hi. Pretty sure she just got weapons. By weapons. By blood veil. Oh yeah, that's the armor. Oh. Yeah, if you take a look at all this armor, like there's nothing really better than what I've got. Bummer. If you oh, choose upgrade that's... equipment for her, can she upgrade your regeneration? No, okay. it's been equipment, but... Yeah, what weapon or armor. Upgrade? Okay. Let's, let's upgrade that. Yeah. Okay. Sweet. All right. That's the difference. That's going to be it. That's going to be the key. Let me map that anti-venom. So I can use that beforehand, okay. So and I wonder what Ikor is. Ikor is the mana. Ikor, oh, okay. Oh, also there's uh, these challenge areas. Uh, so when you're out in the field, you'll sometimes find these maps. Uh, you give the maps to this guy and he's like, hey, all right, you can head into the depths. This is all we've got for available routes. And there's they're small challenge areas. Like I, I went through this one pretty quick. Um, there was just like, you know, two or three hallways and then, you know, like an end boss. Yeah, sure. Style, it was, it was, Quick and easy, and I got some some junk out of it, and I do mean junk. <laughs> Your life. Like I didn't, I didn't get any cool weapons or anything. Wait, what's that? What this? Yeah. Oh, I can go into like a training mode. Uh oh. And then beat up on this thing. That's it. Very cool. Yeah. All right, Hold on, nobody look. I have to put my big sword away, and yep. he <laughs> cannot see where I'm putting it. <laughs> okay, did we look at all the stuff? Yeah, we got storage. What are your gifts there? Uh, gifts, that's your, your skills. Oh, right, okay. Hmm. Next time I might try switching to like a ranged build or something. I don't know. Yeah. I don't think I'm gonna do that just yet. She see, the boss seems to be like pretty stationary or then moving very fast. So and she's maybe. got that aura too, that of poison that I yeah. don't wanna mess with. All right. It's handy having this, let's just go to a tutorial whenever you, <laughs> could, could you hide that a little bit better? I don't know. I don't know what that needs to be front and center all the time. I like the hub area. That's, aesthetically I like it. All right. And I don't want to go with a different partner either because I don't think they, they heal um, right. like she does. And she seems to be doing pretty good damage. Let me try. I didn't get to try this before. Cool. How's that spell that I bought? Oh, yeah. Whoa, back up. So it looks like you're regening re your mana kind of with each hit. Uh, or you can kill? Use the, I couldn't use tell. The, uh, well, you can use that, but then you were also yeah. getting some back for just from hitting those guys. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. Perfect. Take your pick. I'll follow. All right. White thing. Some kind of cocoon. Yeah, she says that every time. Okay. Maybe one day she'll figure out what it is.
So okay. if, can I go in there now? Yeah. yeah. Oh shit. Except for the that part. Right. No. Oh my god. I roll, dude. Come on. Back. Not after I get started. All right, this one. This one's data. Right. First round is data. Alex Valle taught us uh. that. Ah. Fuck off. Okay, this anti venom doesn't seem to be yeah, look, too much. Yeah, looks like it's poison town now. Okay, I used it. All right. You got your abilities too, remember? Yep. Can't tell how much damage that did. I'm gonna go ahead and use my last one. Use that anti venom. Why not? I got you. Got this. <laughs> Shit. Uh, do it for everyone back home. I'm putting my hands up in the air like a spirit oh, she bomb. She knocked me out of my goddamn skill. Come on. Things are darkest just before the dawn, Jason. Oh. I'm just dying here, like <laughs> fuck, and I can't get far enough away from the. Oh. This is just poison everywhere. God. This sucks. Yep. Don't worry, Mia's got your back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, heal him. Yes. Do the thing where you just mash. I'm mashing. Yes. Fuck yes. Oh my god. Fuck yeah. The power of yes. friendship. Thank you. We got high five. We got high fived. <laughs> now we got story. You. I remember you. Where's the girl? Yeah, so if you like story in your Where's in your Bloodborne her? slash Dark Souls games, the there's there's quite a bit of it here. That human belongs yeah, I wouldn't expect we'll take her back. anime Dark Souls to not have an insane story. Oh shit! Humans aren't property; they have the same right to live that any of us. See, do. we're good vampires. Yeah. Don't give me that noble act. They have no rights. Especially if they're gamers. We're the ones keeping them safe, after all. Why were we kicked out of our graves? Who did we die for, again and again, at the Queen's hand? We writhe with this terrible thirst. We live in fear of- You have amnesia, I assume you don't talk either? Nope. For whose sake? It's all in the service of humans. Jeez. If blood is the only price they have to pay, then they have a pretty good deal. That doesn't mean you do that in the middle of a conversation where you just get down on your hands and knees and start pounding the ground. And, and somebody pulls a gun on you. Yeah. Huh? It's not like we're choosing to live this way because it's such a barrel of laughs. That should be enough to get you through a month or so. Those are blood beads. Those, oh, those grow on some of the just make sure that you and I blood trees that are fueled by this blood streams. I don't know. Morning. Sounds about right. Yeah. No we're wearing masks because we're in this, sword. like, uh, miasma. Uh-huh. Just cause. Don't worry about it. Isn't God Eater all about some kind of miasma? No. Oh, well. No, not so much. Okay. Lost can be found again, huh? I swear I'll end it. The Revenant's suffering must end. I'm here too. What he said. <laughs> well, god dang. The power of friendship got us through. The I power did, of friendship and AI. I, I was fully willing to just completely give up on this You game. almost set the controller down at the end there. You were ready. I was donezo. Uh, anyway, this is, this is, this is Code Vein. Um, it's anime Dark Souls. Yeah, it's, it's that. <laughs> They're no, no joke. That's what they're going for. <laughs> they did it. Uh, they, they finally brought it together. I'm going to rest at this missile. Oop. And uh, I think we're going to get out of here. I, I need it. I got to come down after this. <laughs> okay. All right. Thanks, Ben.